Ooh, gives me chills. Contact is the most powerful sampler available today. Its power comes from a great sample library and numerous tools to manipulate your own samples. In this video, I'll highlight some of the features of Contact that we'll be discussing throughout this course. Contact can be used as a standalone instrument or as a VST, audio unit, or RTAS plugin from within Logic, Pro Tools, Cubase, Sonar, Ableton Live, or any program that supports one of these plugin types. There is also a free version of Contact called Contact Player, which is sometimes packaged with sample libraries that you purchase. I'll be spending most of my time with the standalone version of Contact, although most everything I'll be talking about applies to the plugin versions too. The Contact Player has a small subset of the capabilities of the full version, so we won't be covering it in this course. To start with, Contact has one single resizable window. You can simply grab like any other window and drag up and down. You can easily browse your sample library and load sampled instruments or collections of instruments called multis right into your play area. You can access the controls from the instruments right in the instrument window. And if you need to do more, you can unveil a large array of modules that let you edit waveforms, add effects, set up loops, and much more. All the instruments that come with Contact offer large custom control panels with access to the most common controls for each type of instrument. How many instruments come with Contact? Over 1,000. That's 43 gigabytes of sounds right out of the box. We'll take a quick look at those in the next video. Later, we'll go into detail about each instrument collection. Now in the browser, we can search by file type, we can search by different characteristics, and you can even use a function called Quick Load, which lets you access your favorite libraries or samples right away. And we'll cover everything here later, I promise. Now Contact has a huge number of modules to alter the instruments you use. They include numerous effects, reverbs, filters, etc. There's even this new AET, Authentic Expression Technology filter, which lets you morph between different sounds while holding down a key. It's very unique to Contact. Now, Contact also has an advanced scripting language called KSP. And although we won't cover how to build scripts, we will cover how to use these scripts to alter your sounds. And there's some pretty funky stuff that you can do with them. And the good news is you don't need to know how to program to use them. Now you can assign each of your instruments to be played on a different MIDI channel, and you can assign your instruments to different outputs. And this works whether you're using Contact as a standalone instrument or as a VST audio unit or RTAS plugin from within your sequencer. With Contact, you can create massive instruments or combinations of instruments. In the past, Contact was limited to 4 gigabytes of RAM. That meant that you couldn't load instruments that were larger than 4 gigabytes. Now that sounds like a lot of space, but with today's complex instruments, it's not too hard to fill that up. Now Contact is 64-bit compatible on the PC, and on the Mac it has something called a memory server. And both of these things, the 64-bit compatibility and this memory server, let you get around the 4 gigabyte limitation and load as many samples as your memory can handle. Keep in mind that all the other programs you're running take up memory, so you need to reserve some space for other applications. Additionally, Contact supports multiprocessing, so you can access all the processing power of your machine. Native Instruments recommends that you turn this feature off when you're running Contact as a plugin, but you should experiment with it to see if it causes any problems. You can easily turn multiprocessing support on and off from Contact's Option module under the Engine tab. That's a high-level overview of Contact. Obviously, there's much more. We'll take a quick look at Contact's library, and then we'll get to work setting up and using Contact.